So I'm here with Echo 79 Sierra Uniform Alpha. And what is your name, my friend? Uh, my name is uh, Suat, the Suat Chobo. Okay. Uh, yeah, I am the youth coordinator from the Amateur Radio Association in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Okay, very good. I remember um, working in uh, Bosnia uh, back in like 2006. We had a different prefix. Uh, yes, we had uh, first we uh, have a uh, Yankee uniform, then we switched to ta Tango 9 after uh, the breakup of Yugoslavia, and then after that we changed to Echo 7. Yes, good. So, what uh, involved you in amateur radio? How did you get started? With you? Um, well, I started uh, uh, into amateur radio since uh, 2018 you, uh, when I joined uh, my local uh, radio club uh, in a small town called Kakain. Uh, and uh, I was always fascinated by technology in general, like computers and uh, so on. Uh, but I also heard from my parents that there's uh, this hobby called uh, ham radio. My mom used to go to ham radio uh, classes, but she uh, never uh, passed any exams or anything. But uh, I wanted to join, and uh, at, back at the time I was the only student uh, for the ham radio, only one interested in, uh, my, in my city at the time. Uh, so I was uh, basically the whole time, so, uh, I was uh, self-learning, like, right. uh, yeah, for information from the internet or from, my, uh, from the president of the radio club back at the time, uh, and uh, that's how I started, and uh, I passed uh, my... A ham radio exam uh, at the end of 2018 and uh, yeah that's all, all of it. so congratulations you you know you seem to be very much enjoying the hobby and you're doing a lot of things uh, what are some of your activities in ham radio uh, I started uh, uh, into amateur radio since uh, 2018 uh, when I joined uh, my local uh, radio club uh, in a small town called Kakain. Uh, and uh, I was always fascinated by technology in general, like computers and uh, so on. Uh, but I also heard from my parents that there's uh, this hobby called uh, ham radio. My mom used to go to ham radio uh, classes, but she uh, never uh, passed any exams or anything. But uh, I wanted to join, and uh, at, back at the time I was the only student uh, for the ham radio, only one interested in, uh, my, in my city at the time. Uh, so I was uh, basically the whole time, so, uh, I was uh, self-learning, like, right. uh, yeah, for information from the internet or from, my, uh, from the president of the radio club back at the time, uh, coordinator, uh, and, and uh, as of right now, uh, we are working on a project such as um, uh, we are holding on nationwide uh, uh, ham radio presentations and we will have an exam on the uh, 30th of uh, July uh, in my place in Kakan uh, for uh, anyone who is interested uh, and who has already signed up for that. We are already uh, making presentations and uh, also we are working uh, with uh, 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 remote ham radio. Oh, good. Uh, yes, which is uh, the network. Ray, I know Ray. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. And we are working actually with uh, Richard, a 9 Alpha 1 Tango Tango. Right. Uh, and uh, we are now in talks with our uh, regulatory uh, communications agency uh, to provide us with uh, uh, a license to uh, allow us uh, for a remote, uh, for, uh, to operate remotely for anyone, uh, any foreigners uh, that want to operate from Bosnia and Herzegovina. And that would also help youngsters from Bosnia since we have a lot of clubs that don't have uh, enough of uh, hand breaks to work uh, on ham radio bands and uh, this is a great opportunity for anyone, uh, any youngsters in Bosnia and anywhere in the world to operate on such a, a, a big a platform and that's the activities we're currently working. Yeah. No, that's great. Now, I, I know that in Croatia they had the remote stations yes. and um, in Bosnia, I know in the Europe, um, in Germany and in the UK just announced they're changing regulations, particularly with regard to remote. Is that something that you had to have happen in, in Bosnia? Uh, yes, no, but uh, the, thing, the thing is, the bureaucracy in Bosnia is uh, right up slow. Uh, we have a, a thing called a SEPT, uh, which is uh, uh, a convention, uh, Europe, European convention regarding right. telecommunications. And the Bosnia is also part of it, uh, but uh, according to the CPT uh, TR uh, 01, 
uh, it does not regulate specifically remote time radio, so uh, uh, or yeah, remote. So uh, that's uh, left on the individual countries to decide for themselves. Right. So we uh, uh, currently have a new uh, law, uh, but it still doesn't define any remote time radios. Okay. So yeah, we are uh, in talks with the Communications Regulatory Agency to have uh, some sort of uh, a wild card for us so we can operate remotely from Bosnia. Yeah. That's very good. That's very good. And, um, you know, we enjoy that privilege in the United States. It's something that, you know, we have that and we wish that more countries would get that sort of regulation so you have more access to good stations because I think that's a barrier for youth. So speaking of the barriers for youth, what are the challenges that the youth face in Bosnia? Yes, uh, well, we face a lot of challenges. Uh, first of all, uh, this is the breakup of uh, Yugoslavia 30 right. years ago. Uh, before that, we, uh, each town or each uh, place had its own radio club, uh, which was primarily for emergency communications purposes, but a lot, a lot of youth at that time educated for ham radio. And today, um, uh, it's left on the goodwill of people. Uh, we have uh, some places uh, that uh, have many uh, youth, uh, but we have some places, for example, where uh, 1990s uh, are the youngest uh, members oh, wow. of, the, uh, the, of the clubs. Yes, really? and uh, also one of the, the one more uh, of the um, of obstacles that we face is um, a bad rigs that we have around uh, radio clubs. Some radio clubs don't even have any. Uh, conditions to operate, right. and uh, that's why we are um, uh, uh, striving to uh, establish this connection with RHR to provide each youngster in uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina to operate from uh, from uh, very good handbrakes. That's good. That's that's very nice to hear that you guys are making progress. Now, in terms of um, you know other activities besides the HF. Is there anything you do? I know you have access to the QO100 satellite. Um, do you do anything with that? Do you do any other ham radio activities? Uh, yes, uh, in the emergency communications network, uh, we had, uh, I think, uh, two uh, 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 practices with uh, Quebec Oscar 100, right. uh, which were successful. We made uh, some QSOs, but we definitely uh, want in the future, and we have uh, intentions to uh, do that and show that to youngsters, uh, because it is a very impressive technology. I had the opportunity in uh, Croatia to uh, operate on Quebec Oscar, and it's uh, very impressive. So uh, I hope we, in future we will have some kind of presentation for that as well. Yes. Okay, so my final question is, if you were to tell a young person today why they should get into ham radio, why, you know, what is it What is it for them? What would you tell them? Well, uh, I would like to say to them that uh, ham radio, uh, you know, youngsters today, we have Discord and uh, Messenger and yes. Instagram and stuff, uh, but uh, we have a simple flood and everything of that Right, castle beats over. So uh, ham radio, it it will be always alive, mm -hmm. no matter what. Uh, and uh, I will want to send them a message that it's not about only about uh, technology, learning about technology. It's also about new, meeting new people. For example, here in Friedrichshafen, uh, I met a lot of people, and it, it's a great uh, opportunity to connect here uh, with uh, many ham operators from around the world. So uh, it's not just about technology, it's all, all, all about meeting new people and making new friends all around the world. Well, that's very good, yes. And I've, I've truly experienced that, you know, this is a, and I've been to a lot of um, ham radio, um, ham fast in the United States, and I meet friends there. Here I meet all my friends who I've only talked to on the radio. You know, uh, yeah, on Europe, because I work a lot of DX into Europe, but it's very nice to meet them. So anyways, I wish you all the best in your ham radio career, and um, I see you as a bright spark in the future of amateur radio. Yeah. And I hope I can see you some years in the future, inspiring people younger than you <laughs> to get course. So say, when I was this age, you know, we were doing this, so you need to continue. Yeah. And I wish you all the best. Thank effort. you very much for having me. All right. And wish you good luck, dude. All right. More reports coming up from Ham Radio Friedrichshafen right here on Ria's Ham Shack.